Hey everyone, this is Adrian Vrena speaking from Nons, not only NFT stuff. And today I'm gonna show you how to stake your Casper tokens. If you don't know what Casper network is, I recommend reading uh, whatever is on their website and uh, maybe watching the video. In a nutshell, Casper is a proof of stake platform for smart contracts with uh, stable gas fees and uh, developers can write smart contracts in common languages so that they don't have to you know, to learn yet another programming language. So basically the idea is kind of similar to Cardano or Polkadot, but the underlying mechanisms are somehow different. And uh, without further ado, let's go into Block Explorer mainnet because there's, you know, all the information and here you will be delegating your tokens or staking. I'll explain the difference, the difference later. You can see that the API is around 10% now. Top validators, latest blocks, so uh, just a regular um, blockchain explorer. In order to, uh, to open, to create the wallet, you have to click on sign in and then you go to download signer. You have to add it to Chrome, I already had that added. Once you have it added, it's going to appear here or actually it's going to appear here. I just pinned it. Uh, so here you have to set up a password first. Let's confirm that. Now we are going to create a vault. And once we have that set up, we create an account. Just like that, uh, you have to um, choose the the algorithm first. So the standard one would be the first one, ED uh, two hundred fifty five and nineteen. If you are planning on using the Ledger wallet or transferring your Casper tokens into Ledger, you want to use the second one. Also the standard one. Let's create that. Uh, let's download the key. Of course, you have to save them securely. Uh, probably outside your your computer. Now that we have that uh, set up and I have the active key for my nonce account, let's sign in. We have to um, confirm that we want to connect to the website with our signer. We approve the connection. And as you can see here, we are already connected to the website. You can go to view account so that you can see what is your public key, what's the hash of your account and you know how much CSPRs do you have. I don't have anything here because I just have set up the, the account. Um, so you can buy, oh yeah, I know why I needed that. Let me just bring it back. Yeah, so here you will see uh, what are the markets where you can buy the Casper? So you have Wobby, Gate.io, Coinlist Pro. I personally use the uh, Max or Max C, whatever its name, because I already had the account there. So I use this one here. Let me show you how to do it. So once you go to your mm, wallet, you go to Casper, withdraw. Now for the address, you want to use your public key from here. So we copy that, paste it in here. We do not use memo here, so you take no memo. If on your exchange you don't have the no memo, just leave it blank. The amount, let's set it to, I don't know, let it be 100 Caspers. Um, yeah, and that's that. So let's submit it. Okie dokes. So now the transfer is on its way. It's going to take, I think, just a few minutes. And uh, in the meantime, I am going to explain you what is the difference here. What is the difference between staking and delegating? So basically, when you go to home and you see the validators here. So once you are a validator, so you have, you know, a full node set up, uh, you can um, stake your CSPRs. So when you're a validator, you are staking. 
if you are not a validator, just a regular user like myself, you want to delegate your tokens to one of the validators to stake them, like Everstake, for example. So what you are gonna see here is um, how much they have, you know, they have staked, and also the important thing for us is the commission rate. The com so the one here, ten percent. The commission rate is what are they gonna charge you, uh, you know, for staking instead of you. So let's assume that you have staked some amount of CSPRs, and the reward would be the reward for staking that amount would be a hundred CSPRs, then Everstake is going to take 10% of that because they are, you know, running, uh, you know, the node and they are doing it uh, instead of you. So you're going to get 90 CSPRs out of your 100 CSPRs just because you didn't have to set up the full node and, you know, uh, get, val you know, become a validator here. Let's see if our, yeah, here, let's see. Okay, so we already have our CSPRs. Uh, let's go to wallet, delegate stake. Now that we have them, we can choose a validator. So I personally choose the ones that have the lowest fee. So the 3% here, let's pick up this one. The amount, I just want to delegate the maximum amount cost for the delegation or the transaction fee for the deployment of you know the smart contract is going to be two and a half CSPR around 20 cents we go next we have our you know summary of the transaction uh, I confirm and delegate stake now we're gonna have to sign the transaction so we go to sign with Casper Signer. Let me unlock it. Now that it's unlocked, we can uh, sign it with our private key. We have our deploy hash. So the hash of the transaction or actually the initiation of the smart contract, we initiated to stake our tokens. It says it's successfully sent. We can go back to home. Now, when you go to your wallet. Uh, okay, so it's still liquid here because it takes, I don't remember how much, I think it takes one era. So it's around two hours uh, in order to, you know, for the funds to be staked. I already have, let me just bring that up. So I already have a different account set up where I already delegated my uh, CSPRs so I can show you how it looks like. So here you will see that the total balance here is uh, just above 2000 CSPRs. The staked ones are, the, you know, here. You can see how much of the rewards I have received. You can see the delegations. So I did it just once here. So I delegated the stake. I'm not sure if it now it doesn't show when it was, but you can see the staking rewards. So uh, yeah, every two hours it's paying off you a reward, uh, 0 0.4 CSPR. Um, and this is how it looks. I think there's nothing more to add. Some other functionalities is just to transfer your CSPRs or to undelegate it. So to you know. To get your tokens back so that they're liquid and you can move it back to the exchange maybe and exchange them for, you know, uh, stable coins. But I think that's all for today. And if you're going to have any questions, just leave it in the comments. And if you'd like me to, you know, speak a little bit more about Casper network itself, also let me know. Thank you very much for watching and uh, speak to you later. Bye bye.